the bell icon to turn on notifications. Every now and again, you might encounter zip files. And a zip file is basically an archive file that contains lots of other files. So for example, if you have a whole bunch of files that you need to send to someone else, it's often easier to create a zip file rather than send them a hundred different files. Because when you create a zip file, it's just one file that contains the 100 files. So what they'll receive is one zip file as opposed to the hundred individual files. Zip files are also often used to keep file sizes down. So again, if you have a lot of files to send people, if those are quite large files, it's always preferable to put them in a zip file because it does compress them so they are a bit smaller. So what we're going to look at in this lesson is I'm going to show you how to create a zip file. And I'm also going to show you how you can deal with a zip file if you receive one from someone else. Because the thing with zip files is that you need to unzip them before you can actually view the files contained within. So let's first look at how to create our own zip file to send to someone else. So I'm in a different folder, Course and Exercise Files, and I've got a few different folders here related to Access 2019. And this folder contains all of the course files for this particular course. And you can see that there's quite a few of them in here. Now, if I want to send all of these to my colleague, the best thing for me to do is to wrap these all up in a nice, concise zip file. So what I'm going to do here, first of all, is select all of the files in this folder. Again, a few different ways that you can do this. The easiest by far, particularly if you have a lot of files in here, is to press the Control A keyboard shortcut to select everything. Alternatively, another pretty quick way of doing this is to select the checkbox next to name. That's going to select them all as well. Now to create a zip file, we need to click on the three dots and the second option here, compress to zip file. And what you can see here is that it's going through and it's compressing each file. And because I have these saved to OneDrive effectively, it's kind of having to download them first before it compresses them. So depending on the type and the size and the amount of files that you're compressing, this can take a couple of minutes. So I'm going to wait until all of these turn to green because then I should be prompted to enter a name for my zip file. And there we go, my zip file has been created. It's at the top of the list and I can now rename it. So I'm going to call these, let's just call these database files and hit enter. So now I have my zip file that contains all of these files. And if I need to send this to someone, I can simply just send them this zip file instead of 30 separate files. So nice and easy. Now, what about the reverse of that? What about if I've received this file? Well, if someone's uploaded it to cloud storage, maybe like in this example, or if they've maybe emailed me a zip file, I need to unzip the folder first of all, before I can access all of those files. Now, what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to move this zip file onto my desktop because if I try and unzip this here, all of the file names are going to be the same as the files I already have in here. So I'm just going to get essentially copies. So let's just move this folder onto the desktop and we'll unzip from there. So what I could do here is right click and select extract all. Windows has recognized that this is a zipped folder that contains multiple files and it's now asking me to choose a location to extract these files to. So I could choose browse and maybe select a specific folder for these files. I'm just going to keep this folder path name as it is and just say extract. It's going to go away and do that. And now you can see that I have another folder created called database files. This isn't a zipped folder. It's automatically opened it for me. And there is the contents of my zip file. So pretty easy to wrap multiple files up into one file to make it a lot easier to send and save a little bit of space. Now I don't need either of these files, so I'm going to delete these from my desktop. And to select both of these, I'm going to use that method of drawing a square around them to select them both. I'm going to hit my delete key. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. 
and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.